Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw a llama and um, it's really fun. We've got our paper in portrait layout so it's standing up tall today because our llama is going to be standing up on our page here. I'm going to be starting up here with his head on the side. His head is actually looking this way. His neck is going to come down and in his back and it's going to come this way. So he's standing his tail on the side of his back and up to his head. So you can visualize where he's going to be on your page. We're going to start by drawing his eye. And we're going to start by just two simple curved lines. And I'm going to start quite close to the edge here so that I've got enough space for his, for his fur and his furry body to come this way. And I'm going to be starting quite high, high up so that I've got space for his legs. I don't want to go too high though because a llama has got very long ears, almost like a rabbit. So I don't want to start too high, leave a bit of space. But here we go, let's give it a try. I'm going to start with two curved lines for his eye. And I'm going to put inside his eye and I'm going to shade that black. And I'm going to leave a twinkle or two. I don't want to colour in an animal's eye completely. A llama has got really long eyelashes, so I'm going to add a few eyelashes now while I'm here. I can always add some more later. Right, right, we're going to put a small curved line above his eye, like a little eyebrow. I'm then going to come across from the from his eye, leave a little gap, and we're going to do the top of his nose coming out. And we're going to do a curvy sort of triangle for his nose. Right, then comes his sort of what I think of as being his cheeks. Two curved lines. And we're going to turn this one into his mouth. Coming. Let's do the bottom, his bottom lip. Right, and we're getting started on his face. Remember, if we're going too fast, then just pause the video so you can catch up at your own pace. Just like when we did our tiger, we can see this eye, but we can't see the other eye on the other side. But we can draw a, a bit of a bump on his face there where his other eye is. And we're going to go up his forehead. And give him a sort of flattish head. And his ears are going to go on top. Come up and down. And I'm going to do an ear. So from this point here, I'm going to do the side of his ear coming up. And I'm going to give him some furry bits coming down the back. And I'm going to finish his ear off in the front here, like that. Let's do the other ear. This ear is also going to be pointing that way. And give him some furry ears. There we go. Okay, he's coming along nicely. Let's do his jaw. So from his bottom is we're going to come out and around and we're going to add some more furry bits. You're going to see that there's going to be a lot of fur. If I just make a comment on that for a moment, sometimes it is hard to concentrate on drawing a certain direction and to draw zigzag at the same time. So there are two ways that you can do that. Either you draw your, foot, your straight line with your pencil in the shape that you want, and then afterwards then you can come and add your zigzag for his fur. What I quite like is to just use lots of little straight lines, and that is easier to change the shape. And that's a lovely way to sketch fur rather than having to make a zigzag which can get quite muddly so uh, you will notice as i'm drawing that i tend to use lots of straight lines next to each other for a zigzag so you can try it out on a scrap of paper and see what you prefer let's get back to our llama right we've got his head we are going to start now on his neck and his body right let's give him some good fur and we're going to go down his neck. And the llamas have quite long, 
straight necks. So I'm going to get that furry neck coming down. On this side, I'm going to bring it down a little bit further and in. I'm going to make another curve to join on this side. So similar to this curve that I've made here, I'm going to make another one on this side. Let's do his two front legs. I'm going to come down. I almost think of them as a little pair of shorts. Another one. Just add some more fur here. Tighten it up. All right, I'm going to add in his feet and his legs, the rest of his legs, just now. Let's go along his back. So coming just above here, we are left off on his shoulder here. I'm going to come down and over his back. And we're going to add more furry bits coming down his back leg. And another little pair of shorts, yes. Coming back again. Right, let's do his belly. I'm going to come from here down. And then add some shapes. I'm going to add in his other back leg, which is hiding behind. So I'm going to come down here and just add some more shaggy bits here. So we've got two back legs. All right, let's do his feet and his toes. So we can just draw some straight lines for his legs. Coming down. And at the back, a llama does not have huge like cows and, and horses. Um, they they have a very special foot. They kind of have two big toes. So I'm gonna do two big toes, and they're kind of a bit funny looking, and they've got a. a the other one. I'm going to start actually with this back leg because he's going to be in front, isn't he? Two big toes, just using some curved lines, and the other big toes. There we go. And we can put his those nipples on too. Alright, he is still missing his fluffy tail. So let's put his fluffy tail on. Can't have too much fur on a llama. There we go. And there's our llama. Now we still have a little bit of time left. So I could show you how to cut him in, but I think that you could manage that by yourself. So let's have a little bit of fun and I'll show you how a different way of drawing a llama. And this one is going to be a llama's face. And it's great fun. So let's have a look at this one. I am going to start with his shaggy head of hair. So if I think I'm drawing between his ears now, I'm going to give him some good hair. And coming down, really good shaggy hairstyle. And I'm just making whatever lines I feel like. Some, you can see sometimes they're not even drawn together. Alright, he's got lots of shaggy shaggy fur on top of his head let's put his ears on and they really are just sort of big bunny ears apparently the difference big difference between a llama and an alpaca is that an alpaca has got small ears and a llama has got big ears so he's got these big bunny ears and very furry. Right, if I see where his ears come and I come down, I'm going to put two straight lines coming down that kind of come outwards a little bit. And that's going to be the start of his nose. I'm going to put two curved lines on either side for where his nostrils are going to go. And then I'm going to draw a sort of roundish square at the bottom. 
shadow. Let's put in the details from the middle. I'm going to come up and I'm going to do two points like this one and another one and one on this side and another one. And that's his nostrils. And those can be colored in black. I'm just going to shade them like this for now. Then black paint is not so great for shading. Right, I'm going to just change the shape down here a little bit because I like to see his lips. Let's put his mouth. So again, we can color this in. If you're feeling creative, you can even put some teeth sticking out here if you'd like. His open mouth. And we can put his, the bottom of his chin. Right, let's do his eyes. Now, as we said, Alarm's got big eyes. So we'll do two big circles. And we're going to color those in as well. But leave, remember to just leave a couple of little twinkles in his eyes. Let me see if I've got thick in here. Right, we're not done yet. Uh, let's on his eyes. We're gonna put his eyelid along the top and on the side also. And we're gonna do one at the bottom as well. And as I said before, a llama has got big eyelashes. Even the boys, the boys and the girls. So we're gonna put some crazy eyelashes on and a bit at the bottom as well. This is really going to start giving him some character. Alright, let us put on the side of his face now. And this is when it starts to get fun. We're going to come, we're going to use that shaggy lines again. Coming out and out. And we're going to bring it in and bring it in. And down his neck. And there we have a super cute llama. Now what you can have some fun with this one is that you can even imagine that this llama is a little character. And you can dress him up. You can give it hair accessories, glasses. Maybe it's got earrings or a cap or a bow. Perhaps it's wearing some cool clothes, you can go wild. So if you want to add any more of your own details to this guy to just give him more character, you can go ahead and do that. But there are two ways to draw a llama, one a bit more realistic and one just for fun. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you tomorrow for more drawing. Goodbye.